Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. San Francisco 49ers become first in NFL to purchase SAF for charter flights with United. The NFL team, the San Francisco 49ers, will become the first team in the NFL's history to utilize sustainable aviation fuel on its charter flights when the team has to travel for an away game within the country. This announcement is in partnership with United Airlines, which has a major presence in San Francisco, and the team has already purchased enough SAF to utilize for its flights this weekend to Los Angeles. The San Francisco-based NFL team, the San Francisco 49ers, has made a historic announcement, which states that the team purchased sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, to cover the team's charter travel with United Airlines this weekend for an away game in Los Angeles. Considering United is the team's official airline and the city's largest airport, San Francisco International Airport, San Francisco Airport, when it came to reducing the 49ers' air travel emissions, the partnership was obvious. SAF can reduce greenhouse emissions by around 80% on a life cycle basis, so the increased use of this synthetic fuel in a blended manner is one of the ways the International Air Travel Association, IATA, says the industry can reach its net zero emissions by 2050 goal. The production rate of SAF is still in its infancy and will require significant investments and time to ramp up production to make a significant reduction in the industry's carbon emissions. United CEO, Scott Kirby, made the following statement, We're proud to partner with like-minded organizations like the 49ers to demonstrate and elevate to a broader audience why it's important to support real solutions like SAF. Former San Francisco 49ers QB Colin Kaepernick makes massive career announcement on Instagram. Former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick made an announcement this week regarding his post-NFL career. Kaepernick has been busy as an entrepreneur since the league blackballed him. Kaepernick still wants to make a return to the NFL as a quarterback. Kaepernick was seen training this summer while league teams were in the middle of preseason. Los Angeles Chargers head coach Jim Harbaugh said Kaepernick can become an assistant coach on his staff in the future. While Kaepernick sorts out football, he's been working on a few projects. Kaepernick founded and runs the Know Your Rights Camp nonprofit. Per his Instagram, KYRC recently held its 13th camp, this time in Philadelphia. At the camp, he gives speeches to children at camps throughout the country. Kaepernick also runs a publishing company, Kaepernick Publishing. Per his Instagram story, Kaepernick Publishing is releasing the graphic memoir, Dear Dad. For the KaepernickPublishing.com, the book was written by Jay Patton about her life growing up with an incarcerated parent, as far back as nine-year-old Jay J. Patton can remember, her dad, Antoine has been in prison. Growing up in Buffalo, New York, with her mom and younger brother, she's only been to visit him twice. Instead, the two have sent each other numerous letters, Jay J.'s letters can take weeks or months to reach her dad, and some never even get delivered. What's it going to be like having dad home? The book has an interesting point of view that isn't discussed much in the mainstream media. Kaepernick has a heart for helping independent content creators publish their content. He recently started an AI venture to help content creators. 49ers trade proposal sends QB to Dolphins in exchange for familiar face. With superstar running back Christian McCaffrey on injured reserve, the San Francisco 49ers are being encouraged to add a little more depth to their running back's room. The 49ers have been riddled with injuries throughout training camp and into the regular season on both sides of the ball, with the offense taking multiple lumps. In addition to McCaffrey, running back Elijah Mitchell is on IR, and wideout Debo Samuel, who is often utilized in the run game, will probably miss a couple of weeks, according to 49ers head coach Kyle Shanahan. While Jordan Mason has been tearing it up in McCaffrey's absence, if Mason were to fall, the depth behind him is scarce. Matt Barrows of The Athletic called the Miami Dolphins a natural trade partner for the Niners on September 14 before doubling down on the idea in a later column. 
the two trade swaps Barrows proposed? Sending 49ers third-string QB Joshua Dobbs to Miami in exchange for Dolphins running back Raheem Mostert, he also pitched a swap of 49ers second-string QB Brandon Allen for Dolphins RB Jeff Wilson Jr. The Dolphins have been dealing with significant injuries of their own. Miami recently placed starting quarterback Tua Tagovailoa on injured reserve. The Dolphins are as currently relying on inexperienced backup Skylar Thompson to fill Tua's shoes until he returns. Considering the obvious connection between former 49ers assistant and current Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel, who served as an assistant in varying capacities for Shanahan from 2017 through 2021, a swap between these two squads seems like a no-brainer. I made this point on X last week, but the 49ers need a reliable running back, and the Miami Dolphins seem to need a quarterback, Barrows wrote on September 17. The Dolphins have an abundance of runners who are in the same offense as San Francisco's, and the 49ers have two backup quarterbacks who are about equal in the eyes of Shanahan and who could quickly slide into Mike McDaniel's attack. Mason has been showcasing his skills while replacing McCaffrey. Through two games, the 49ers RB is currently ranked second in the NFL in rushing, 247 yards. He's averaging 5.1 yards per carry and has two rushing scores. With Patrick Taylor and Isaac Garendo currently behind Mason on the depth chart, it wouldn't hurt to add another player to compete. When you lose real good players, it's always tough, Shanahan noted. But it happens all over the league and it's a huge part of this league and a huge part of this game. We've got to deal with it. Both Wilson and Mostert are familiar faces among the 49ers faithful. Wilson spent the first four years of his career in San Francisco before getting traded to Miami in 2022. He has been missing time while dealing with an oblique injury, however, so Mostert may be a better option. Niners fans likely remember Mostert best for his postseason heroics with the team. He ran for 220 yards and scored four TDs in the team's 2019 NFC Championship victory over the Green Bay Packers. Mostert has been with the Dolphins since 2022 and is coming off a career year. He led the NFL in rushing scores last season, 18, and finished with the first 1,000-yard season of his career. Mostert has been dealing with a chest injury, but it isn't believed to be significant enough to keep him out of more than a game or two. With both the 49ers and Dolphins dealing with significant injuries, a QB for RB trade swap makes too much sense. We'll see if something materializes. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Raheem Mostert? Leave your opinion in the comments.